never really done any puppetry before, ever, or I mean, not proper puppetry like this. So it's, it's really interesting learning about, um, it's really like a whole body thing, to be honest. Every part of you's kind of got to be engaged and getting the, and just learning how to make it look kind of natural and everything's got to be quite loose and quite getting the wrist and getting that little like bounce that they do. But you find quite quickly that they do sort of take on character. Like you find that, um, you kind of want to tilt their head or like give them like a little kind of movement to it. With Rennie, because he's the first alien that we meet in the show, he needs to be sort of not too threatening, but very definitely an alien. There's no question about him being an alien. He's not anything else, um, which is why he's, you know, off to some extent a little bit like an archetypal alien. He's got a sort of very anvil kind of shaped head and he's got his big googly eyes. Um, you can see it kind of how he's evolved from, you know, his design to the finished puppet. Um, so he's a little bit more friendly than my original design. And he lost his nose as well, because um, it was just, with all the eyes, it gets quite messy. The challenges of bringing René to life are, um, well, trying to get the, the hands to align and the, the mouth and the head to really kind of give you that sense of a real character and real emotion in the scenes. We'll try and make sure that his eye line is, is up. Yeah. That's, that's more like it. Yeah, there you go. Try and do a swing round, I'm gonna talk to you. So you're like that, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, that's really lovely. And then swing round to the other side, I'm gonna talk to you. Generally keeping him alive as much as possible. Uh, he's a good man. He's a, a good alien, should I say. Um, and he spends most of his time in his, little, uh, in his little van driving around the world. Brake, and then we've got the engine. Head up, head up, and we're going up, and we're ducking down because there's a laser above our head, and you could do a, yeah, so it's then just timing that, so you're both going, and maybe, again, I would do maybe like a, with your mouth, so like, uh, yeah, but then again, it's the whole body, you've got to always remember that it's, Everything is, is as exaggerated as possible with him because you kind of want him to not feel static. I puppeteer Rennie with my brilliant partner, uh, Lucy. She takes control of one of his hands while I do the head and the other hand. It's um, great working with her, trying to choreograph all the little moments and really kind of bring him to life as an individual. I find it extraordinary because there are muscles that you didn't know you had. Uh, and also, like the whole relaxing your wrist so that you and, and moving your hand so that you get some character, um, so that when you've got something like Elaine here, she can have a personality, and she, you know, she can talk um, and, and be scared, and, and you know, she's sort of like looking around at stuff. And you have to remember where her eyes are, of course, because her eyes aren't where you think they would be; they're somewhere else. So. Uh, there's a lot of fun in it. It's huge fun already, but one day in and I'm having a ball. So, yes, OK, Elaine, you can go now. OK. Don't look at me like that. She's off. <clears throat> we had some that were kind of more like a marionette style as well, um, which is a different challenge, a different kind of movement. This is another one of our puppets, um, Aliens, that comes right near the end of the show and uh, she's one of the, the big, bad, scary aliens. Um, so one of the largest scale puppets I think we've ever done. 